Linux Webfly. Hello. Hey. Um, has a question. Uh, I have just picked up a new KVM with audio, speakers okay, so and mic. KVM is keyboard, video, mouse. So is that a switch or is it a extender when you say KVM? Well, let's see if the rest of the question gives that away. Trying to set up two computer with dual monitors, both computers, do okay. have two video output. I believe I would need to set up both computers without the KVM cables first. Need to know how to save settings and then put cable in place. Thank you. What's the operating system? It's Ubuntu on both systems. So, mm. uh, And for those of you who don't know what a KVM switch does, it allows you to use a single keyboard, monitor, and mouse, and in this case speakers as well and microphone, with two computers. So you can switch between those two computers on the fly. It's a very common uh, thing to be used with servers because you want to have just one monitor in the server room and you might have three or four servers running mm. and you're able to switch back and forth between, other, between the servers. But then it's also handy at home if you have, say, let's just say, hypothetical situation. You've got a Windows system for your games and you've got an Ubuntu system for your everyday stuff. So you can switch back and forth between the two with only one monitor. It keeps your cost down because you only need to have one amazing flat screen monitor instead of two semi-amazing flat screen monitors. Right. right? Okay. So um, what you're going to need to do, uh, like you say, it's, it's good to set them up first. Reason for that is because your KVM switch may mess with plug and play detection of a monitor uh, because the monitor signal, the plug and play signal from the monitor may not get through your KVM. So if you fire up your Ubuntu system with the KVM switch attached and you haven't configured it, you haven't set it up, then it's possible that that monitor is going to default to something silly like 800 by 600 or something along those lines as far as resolution goes because it can't detect. And that gets uh, a little bit frustrating. So mm -hmm. what you'd want to do is connect the real monitor that you're going to be using into the system, get it all set up, save your settings, and then plug in the KVM switch. Uh, Linux Webfly, you should be able, once you get everything set up, just asking how to save the settings, uh, you're using a, a modern version of Ubuntu, so it should detect everything once you've got your video drivers installed, get your monitor set to the resolution you want, and, uh, and you're good. If you reboot the system and it comes up and everything works the way that you set it up, then you're good. Uh, it's not like it used to be where you had to necessarily modify xorg.conf and all that stuff. It's a lot simpler than that. Uh, these days. So, so just uh, you know, run it from the monitor, get everything set up locally, reboot the system a couple times, make sure it's still the way that you want it, then try uh, hot plugging the, uh, the monitor. So turn off the monitor, unplug it while the computer's on, mm -hmm. plug in the KVM, plug the monitor into the KVM switch, and then fire up the monitor and see if everything is still good. Try rebooting with the KVM attached, make sure it's attached to both computers because you're not sure which side of the KVM switch is actually powering the KVM switch. Hmm. So if the side that's not plugged in right now is the one that's getting the power to the KVM switch, that could cause a problem if, uh, if it's not connected. So a couple of things to consider, but uh, yeah, it should be relatively easy. Let us know, okay, once you've kind of played around with it and given it a go, and, uh, and let us know how it goes, all right?